the age of a random selection of race car drivers are given at the following. For this sample data, the mean is 33.6. Okay, mean is 33.6. So what is the mean? That is the sample mean, which is x bar equal 33.6. Yes, and the standard deviation, okay, standard deviation is 7.67 years. Standard deviation of the sample, which is S, equals 7.67. Use alpha. Alpha, at your significant level, to test the claim. Okay, significant level, which is alpha, equals 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 .05. Uh, claim that the mean age of all race car drivers is greater than 30 assume that the population of drivers age is normally distributed then we should know the sample size sample size which is n so sample size n equal 15 what hypothesis are necessary for the test okay before we decide that go to the claim this is the claim that the mean age of race car drivers is greater than 30 greater than 30 so we know we need h naught mu equal 30 then versus H A what is the claim again greater than 30 so mu greater than 30 so that is the null and alternative hypothesis then they are asking what is the test statistic we have S it is a sample standard deviation it means sigma is unknown it means sigma we don't know the sigma we don't know the sigma therefore we should use the t test t naught t naught equal x bar minus mu naught s over root n so x bar 33.6 mu naught mu naught is the mu value under h naught so mu value under h naught is this 30 just you 30 here so divided by s s 7.67 and n 15 so t naught equal actually is t naught equal 1 1.1.82 1 1.82 that is the test statistic now uh, they are asking find the p value so before we go to p-value, uh, let me write down the degrees of freedom of the t. What is the degrees of freedom? n minus 1, which is 15 minus 1, 14. So that is the degrees of freedom. So now, go to the t-table. So in the t-table, go to the uh, pro with the degrees of freedom. 14 and scan for the 1.82 okay then you see we cannot find the 1.82 but we can find uh, 1.761 and the larger number 2.145 that is the one tail test therefore uh, in the t table uh, go to the bottom and one sided p value okay so one sided p value should be this one point oh five point oh five and this should be point oh two five oh two five so therefore we can write 
the p-value corresponding to the test statistic should be less than 0.05 and greater than 0.025 then what is the conclusion about the hypothesis okay how do we find the conclusion we know uh, if p-value less than or equal alpha we reject reject is not so let me check this now we know a p-value should be in between the 0.025 and 0.05 uh, so maybe somewhere here we don't know that is the exact p-value but now alpha alpha equal 0.05 alpha equal 0.05 okay that means here so again we know our p value in between here but alpha 0.05 that means p value less than alpha 0.05. Therefore, we reject, we reject H0. Then asking what is the conclusion about the claim. So, conclusion. Reject H0, reject H0 mean go to the this again. So you look at here, reject H0 mean this one rejected. Then we should go with this. There is, there is sufficient. Evidence. to support to support the claim the claim that the mean h of all race car driver is greater than 30th. 